kids. I am here with a new Bible study. What are we going to read today? We are going to read about Paul in trouble again, remember? So, the Bible verse that goes along with today's story is, Then the chief captain came and said unto him, Tell me, art thou a Roman? He said, Yeah. And that is Acts 22, verse 27. And that's his talking to Paul, of course. Because Paul is a Roman citizen. Which meant a lot back then. Roman citizens were treated so much better than anybody else. Alright, so let me get into the story for you guys. When Cornelius and the first Gentiles were baptized, most of the Jews were glad that God had made it possible for them to be saved, but some of them did not like to think that the Gentiles were just as good as they were. They wanted to make the Gentiles become Jews as well as Christians. When Paul preached mainly to the Gentiles on his missionary trips, these jealous Jews became angry. They tried to find something wrong with Paul so they could stir up the people against him. When they saw Paul in Jerusalem with some of his Gentile friends, they began to spread the story that he had taken these Gentiles into the temple with him and made the holy place impure. They managed to make a whole crowd of people believe this. Then they led the mob to Paul and they were about to kill him before he could even explain that none of the story was true. While Paul was trying to save himself from the angry crowd, someone went and told the Roman colonel that all the Jerusalem was in a riot, and soon as he heard it, the officer took some soldiers and ran to the place where people had gathered around Paul. When the Jews saw that the Roman officer coming, they stepped away from Paul and stopped feeding him. The colonel hurried up, took Paul from them, and bound him with chains. What was this man doing? he demanded of the mob. But the answers were too confused for him to make any sense out of them. He tried letting Paul talk to the people himself, but this only made them more angry. Kill him, they shouted to the soldiers. He is not fit to live. Remember how they yelled about Jesus too? This was too much for the colonel. He carried Paul back to the barracks with him. There he ordered that Paul be beaten until he admitted what he had done, what was wrong. While they were strapping him down for the beating, Paul turned toward a soldier near him and asked, Is it lawful for you to beat a Roman citizen without giving him a trial? The soldier's eyes grew large with surprise. He ran to the colonel. Do you know that we were what we were about to do? He stammered. This man is a Roman citizen. Now this was real news for the colonel. In those days, while Rome ruled the world, Roman citizens had many privileges that no one else had. When someone accused a Roman of doing wrong, he had to come before him and repeat the accusation in court. Then the person who was accused had a chance to defend himself. Are you really a Roman citizen? the colonel asked Paul. Yes, he replied. I had to pay a lot of money to become a citizen, the colonel admitted. No, Paul said, I was born one. Paul was born a Roman citizen. He didn't pay to become one, like they always tell him. At this, the colonel unstrapped Paul and gave him a place to spend the night. The next day, the commanding officer called the Jewish court together and then took Paul over to their meeting. But the Jewish priests began arguing among themselves over Paul, and the colonel could not tell what was wrong. Could not tell what was wrong any better than he had the day before. When he saw that the men had become angry again and were about to tear Paul to pieces, he ordered his soldiers to take him back to the barracks for safety once more. Poor Paul, what was going to happen to him? His old Jewish friends hated him for becoming a Christian. The Jewish Christians suspected him for preaching to the Gentiles, which is us, whoever is not a Jew is a Gentile, remember. 
Of course, the Gentiles whom he had taught loved him, but they were scattered all over the world in cities we had been, and they could not help him now. Someone was with Paul, however. In fact, this someone had never left Paul. This was God. That night in the barracks, God appeared to Paul. Take courage, the Lord said, as he stood by his faithful servant. You are not going to be killed here in Jerusalem. I am going to send you to Rome to tell the people there about Jesus. To Rome, the capital of the world. Paul had always wanted to go to Rome, and he had written the people there that he wanted, that the people there that he was coming, but he had never guessed that it would be as a prisoner. So there you have it. There is the story of Paul in trouble. So God is sending Paul to Rome like he always wanted, but he's being sent as a prisoner. So what will happen then? Will be He'll be able to preach, like God said, he's going to preach to the Romans over in Rome and to the Gentiles in Rome and um, And then will they kill him? Will they keep him over there and arrest him? Will they let him go? What will they do? Will they beat him senseless? We won't know yet. But tomorrow when we stop talking about Paul, we're going to finish up talking about Paul. Well, here with the next Bible study I do here. It'll be called Shipwreck, in case you want to see what happens to Paul at last. Um, that is where we're going to end the story of Paul with the shipwreck story. So that'll be here in a few minutes. I'll be putting that one, getting that one done for you guys. So I hope you guys had a great day. I hope you enjoyed the Bible study. Sure. Hmm? I'm ready. Uh -huh. I hope you enjoyed the Bible study tonight. Mm. If you like this Bible study, please give it a like, a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, please give it a thumbs down so I know you didn't like it. And I love you guys. I hope you really enjoyed the Bible study. I try to do better for you guys every, every day. And let's bring those souls to Jesus. Bye, guys. God bless.